Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to bring you this today. This is gonna be so much fun and you're gonna just have a bunch of fun doing it. I know you are. I'm gonna give you the basics and then the variables are limitless. It's just gonna be fun. So I'm gonna first show you, this is gonna be a cow neck and you're gonna make it. You're gonna make some decisions and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So first I wanna show you the inspiration. This is a blouse that I saw at Nordstrom's. Um, pricey, a little silk, you know, a couple yards. Two yards is all this will take you. So two yards of silk can't cost $350, or I guess it could, but you know, it, it won't at Silhouette Pattern Land, how's that? But anyway, so two yards, but I used to knit because I, I just kept thinking, simplify, simplify, simplify. So a knit's just a little easier than a woven. The same concept, it's just as far as sewing and finishing, I think it's a little easier. So that was the inspiration. And so I wanted you to see that I started with 195. And 195 is our sweater set. And we're gonna look at this next picture. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the regular size you wear, because I know you all have this pattern, and I know you all have fitted this pattern, and you love this pattern, and it works with no problem, so you're just gonna make a cowl out of it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, and you can see in that photo what I've done is I've just pivoted the top away from center front. So center front's still on the fold, and you can see the red line, it's 10 inches from the base of the neck to the front to here to the front that's what I did and you can see how low the farther you go out the lower it will drape so if you want something super sexy you just keep going until it drapes down to your belly that's what Cher used to do so you just keep going until you get it where you want it now I put that green line in there because the green line if you want um, it to drape low but have a higher coverage you take from the shoulder line and go straight over to center front and that way, this will all start to be filled in. But it is just fun to play with. And the reason I'm telling you these variables is because, you know, for the holidays, especially coming up, and if you're going to an event and you wanna just be a little more dramatic, you can do the regular front on the sweater set. Just do the regular front and then do a cowl back. So you can have the whole thing draping on the back if you want, rather than the front. And this, the principles are exactly the same. Keep in mind that you can't do a cowl front and a cowl back because the, the, the normal back or the normal front is what stabilizes the opposite side. So when I take and you know, bring this away from the front of the fold, the back is what stabilizes it. The back is what brings these two points back together so that it creates the cowl itself. I'm using a knit, so you don't need to put it on the bias. If you were using a woven, you would. You'd have to create a bias fold on the woven, and you'd want to put it on, on the bias because we know that in a woven, we get more drape out of that bias than we do regular. But I'm using a knit. I'm using fabric number 5901. You can see there's tons of drape through here, so you don't need to worry about drape. You can just put it, you know, there's no bias. There's no nothing to worry about. That's why I said the knit has a tendency to keep it simple. I use two yards. Even if you were doing a, um, a woven, two yards is enough. Two yards would be the front, and then one yard would be the front bias fold, and then one yard would be the back and the sleeve. I did in that picture also, you can see where I lengthened it. I knew that I wanted to wear it with leggings. I knew I wanted to do a little belt with it. I knew I wanted, because it was knit, I just wanted it for an everyday t-shirt, throw it on with leggings with a, with a belt. Um, and so I added my length at the bottom and I showed you how to add that length down there. So again, this is just fun. You can control the variables. So that's the pattern work. You're laying it out on the fabric, fold, fold back, um, sleeve like it is. So then what I want you to know is when you're sewing it, I did the shoulder seams. I did a, I surged the edge of the neckline and then turned it under. And then right at the front here, I always do this little weight. And what I use is just little, like where I've made a bomber jacket and I've cut off the top of the zipper because the zipper, the separating zipper is too long and you cut off the top. So I just use the teeth. And I just, yeah, this is so simple, you could use anything. This is just what I do because I've literally got it sitting next to my sewing machine. So I just cut off two rows, put them together and just top stitch them in place. They're in the inside, they fall to the inside. It's not like anything's going to show. 
but it's just a really it's a wonderfully modest top even when you bend over it's going to be kept in place when you bring it away from the front you'll notice that there's like a dart that goes down center front and so it'll give you naturally that cowl blending to nothing so that's what's so cool about you all doing this is just understanding the control factors what you want how you want it back front oh my gosh i hope you have as much fun as what i had just figuring this out bringing it to you just having fun with it so the goal is happy sewing from silhouette patterns